Hi, this is Chris with Magoosh, and on today's quantitative comparison, we have really a general principle. It's about the idea of careless errors and how they can pop up on the test. And I know many people are probably raising their hands saying, oh my gosh, that's so me. I always make these careless errors. Help me stop from doing that. Well, let's take a look at this. We have here column A and column B. That's supposed to be circle. So a circle has a radius of root 7, and column B, a circle with a diameter, d for diameter, is root 14. Now, if you're really rushing, you might just think, oh, well, you know, diameter is double of a radius, so therefore double of root 7 is root 14. Ah, I got the answer at C. That's the kind of careless error when you make a little conceptual error like that. So they're actually not the same, but how would you know that? What should you do to avoid this kind of careless mistake? Well, first thing is slow down just a little and notice that the test is usually a little bit more than just, hey, multiply that times two, there's the answer. There's usually, usually a little bit more going on. These questions are engineered in a certain way so that they take a little bit of time. And that's just a little bit too straightforward. So if you're like, oh, that's super easy, step back, think again, be careful. What's going on here? Well, root 7 and root 14, what is the connection there? I'm going to show you. Root 7 times root 2, root 7 times root 2 is root 14. So notice that when you're going from radius to diameter, you're multiplying not times a root 2, which is less than 2, but you're multiplying times 2. So double of root 7 would actually be 2 times root 7, which is bigger than root 14, which again is root 7 times root 2. And now we go back to the idea of don't focus on the computation, focus on the concept, and focus simply on which one is bigger, 2 or root 2. Well, 2 is bigger than root 2. Therefore, answer choice A has to be, or column A has to be greater than column B, and our answer is A. And so that's how you can avoid those careless mistakes. If you're, something just seems way too easy, and by way too easy, I mean, oh, I have to do exactly one step, five seconds, I got the answer, then there might be something up. So always be on the lookout for that. And remember, again, with quantitative comparison, focus on the concept, focus on weighing which column is bigger. Don't feel you have to solve for an exact value. Cool, I hope you enjoyed that quick concept on the watch out for careless errors. Now, where do we get to test ourselves whether or not we make careless errors? Ah, on a GRE practice test. Speaking of which, click on the link in the description below to access one of those, and of course, watch out for those careless errors. But if you're not up for that, you wanna watch some more videos like this one, then click on the ones to your left. And I will see you next time.